Hello, good day to everyone and uh, welcome to another coffee break program uh, uh, with me and today we are going to discuss about the sad sadful situation in India. As you all know, the number of uh, daily deaths had exceeded 4,000 and the number of cases per day has exceeded 400,000 in India and they are really, really struggling with oxygen and resources, uh, hospital beds and uh, whatnot. So we are going to discuss about the situation in India and we are going to basically we are going to discuss about the variants which are prevalent and concerned and uh, existing uh, in India to cause this uh, type of uh, disruption. All of us are fully aware that the wild variant of COVID-19 started from Wuhan and it was D614G. And if we think that this is the uh, COVID-19 virus and this is its genome. And the original genome had been mutated thousands and thousands of times now and there are a lot of prominent variants all over the world. Out of them, there are a few variants which are uh, giving us very much concern. And uh, if we enlarge this COVID genome, as we previously discussed, this genome contains of 30,000 uh, bases in, in, a, in a sequence and uh, among these 30,000 bases, when the sequence changes, the variance erupts. We discussed these things in our previous uh, lecture. And mainly the COVID-19 genome has four parts. Out of them, the first part concerns about the RNA polymerase and the second part concerns about the protease and the last part concerns about the nucleocapsid and uh, envelope and the third part is the part which can which concerns and which is related to the spike protein. So the third part is the part of the genome which is concerned about this uh, spike protein production. So the variants and the mutations which are relevant to the spike protein production are very important for us because it decides about the uh, disease uh, progression and uh, the uh, uh, the way of the disease spreaders and uh, the infectivity and all these things. So out of these spike protein mutations, we have the Indian variant which is called B1617. This is the Indian Indian variant. The Indian variant consists of two mutations of uh, two different variants that we have previously identified. One is the Californian variant The other one is the South African variant. The Californian variant is L542R and the South African and Brazilian variant is L484Q. These two mutations are known as the double mutation.
in this B one six one seven, these two mutations in the spike protein gene are coded as double mutant uh, variant. But in reality, there are about thirteen to fifteen mutations in the whole genome in each of these. components but they are not much concerned they are not much related to the spread of the disease and it is uh, severity and infectivity that is why uh, scientists are concerned about only these two variants which are similar to the californian and south african and brazilian variants and named it as double mutation variant covid-19 indian version b1617 at the moment the most prevalent uh, variant of covid-19 which is troubling in india sees 60% the b1617 indian variant and out of the other 40% the predominant Uh, variant is B one one seven UK variant. And uh, small amount of South African variant is also contributing for the uh, Indian disaster. The difference between uh, the Indian variant and the UK variant. is actually uh, little is little little bit difference actually and both variants are very much uh, highly uh, infective and uh, causing a uh, lot of uh, respiratory symptoms and causing troubles uh, all over and equally uh, virulent uh, two variants and previously the prominent uh, variant of south india uh, was n 440k andhra pradesh variant and now the andhra pradesh variant is being replaced by the uk variant and indian variant and andhra pradesh variant is uh, dwindling as india is struggling with this indian variant and uk variant and the south african variant uh with this double mutation uh indian uh covid-19 and uh, now there is another concern because they have identified the triple mutation the covid-19 genome is constantly mutating and uh, there are thousands of new variants arriving and uh, uh, emerging and if they are suitable for the environment and if they are suitable to uh, survive they survive and the uh, uh, unsuitable variants do uh, get destroyed by themselves as well so now the latest concern is indian triple mutation uh, this is called b1 168 the triple mutation is b1 618 B one six one eight. It contains L five four two R E four eight four Q E four eight four Q and deletion deletion Y one four five and H. One four six. These three combination of these three mutations are called triple 
म्यूटेशन सो वेन सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स आर डिलीटेड फ्रॉम द स्पाइक इट इज इट इज अ बिग कंसर्न द कंसर्न इज द एंटीबॉडीज प्रोड्यूस्ड अगेंस्ट द स्पाइक can't recognize the spike properly because of the deletion of certain protein sequences in the uh, spike protein so that is a, a big concern and these are the mutations which are capable of escaping from the immune system escaping from the immune system good thing is the double mutation uh still uh not escaping from the immune system and the previous immunity and uh, vaccination uh, can control the double mutation but about the triple mutation we are not completely uh aware whether this can escape through the immune system or whether the uh, antibodies previous antibodies or the vaccination can uh, effectively control this uh, variant so this is a very big concern in uh, india uh, the triple mutation we have to think of the point where the india uh, problem uh, got wrong actually the best way to control this covid-19 is prevention so prevention as you all know as we all fully aware now can consist of various things keeping the distance wearing masks quarantine when you get exposed or when you got the disease limiting the uh, uh number of uh, contacts by uh, staying at home and the last effort is to vaccinate as much as possible out of these measures india had not vaccinated their population effectively even though they started mass vaccination programs it's a big country with a very big population and during the period of this april month most of the religious festivals were conducted uh, in the south asian countries so the distance keeping distance wearing mask and gathering mass gatherings and all these things were not uh, according to the health guidelines and also some of the election rallies as usual conducted all these things could have been contributed with the mutations arriving uh, in uh, uh, constant uh, speed so many of these things contributed to the situation uh, that india faced at the moment and uh, we have to take examples and we have to keep ourselves uh, safe by uh, adopting all the methods that we can control this covid-19 virus Luckily the European countries uh, covid cases are dwindling secondary to these vac mass vaccination programs and also uh, the uh, obedient uh, citizens who are uh, following the covid-19 rules very strictly thank you so much for joining me in my coffee break program and i hope that you got an understanding about the indian variant and uh, Uh, especially uh, the prevalence uh, the prevailing uh, uh, variants in india causing this type of uh, massive destruction and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and encourage me uh, i will meet you with another program of coffee break soon and uh, goodbye until we meet again thank you so much for listening